Hi, it's Mike Canny again, and this time we're back with another quick tip. This time we're going to look at the dark side of packet slicing. So here we've got our trace and wire shark, and one of the things that you can see is we're getting a lot of these TCP act unseen segment errors that are popping up. And we want to investigate this because typically this is a sign that the analyzer or the packet broker can't keep up with the traffic. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow the TCP sequence numbers and as we look in this, this first packet and then the second packet in that specific stream of data, you can see the sequence number of 1461 and the length of 450 bytes. So therefore our next acknowledgement should be 1911. And when we look at the next frame in the sequence, we can see that the acknowledgement we got back was 2921, missing or acking a thousand and eleven bytes that were quote unquote unseen on the network and as we drill down you can see the the uh, TCP warning that pops up from Wireshark basically saying that there was data out there that our analyzer didn't capture now if we dig deeper into this packet one of the things you can see in a PCAP format is that there are two frame lengths one that's the captured length on the wire and the other is the frame length and a little tip here, the frame length is how the actual length in the TCP header gets calculated. Right? So it looks at what's left versus what was captured, and it calculates that 450 bytes. Because this trace file was sliced to 508 bytes, Wireshark miscalculates what the actual in-flight TCP data was for this given packet. Now if we look at this trace that we've now altered using a product called Trace Wrangler, we can actually see that that server and that acknowledge that that server hello packet was 15 18 byte frame and therefore when we've calculated the correct frame size, we get the correct length in the TCP header of that segment. How did we do this? So the next step is I want to show you this cool little utility called Trace Wrangler that will actually fix this problem for us. So what we do is we take that trace file that had the errors in it and we drag that over on top of Trace Wrangler and what Trace Wrangler is then going to allow us to do is edit this capture and actually accommodate or calculate for the specific lost bytes or miscalculated bytes if you will in that specific trace file. So we select that uh, fix the frame length, run it, and voila, we have a trace that is now usable in wires. So you might be wondering, what's the big deal uh, if your TCP calculations are off? Well, for a number of reasons, uh, there are some dark sides to slicing your packets. I mean, first and foremost is from a security perspective. Right. So you might be thinking, what? what do you mean from a security perspective? We slice because of security. Well, I'm talking more from a forensics perspective where uh, packet slicing, uh, if you use your trace files to go back in time to determine, for example, what files were accessed from a hacker, uh, what data did they actually get, depending on how you're doing your slicing, you may be uh, you know, cutting off your, your nose to spite your face in the fact that when you go back to look for that trace file information to go to the authorities and say hey look here's the directory that that was accessed here are the files that were accessed you may have sliced your way out of that evidence so that being the first point and second with these specific calculations if your TCP sequence numbers are off in your trace file or at least your analyzer won't allow you to correctly and easily follow a TCP flow uh, via sequence numbers. Uh, things like uh, bandwidth utilization, things like throughput, all these calculations are affected by having the wrong sequence numbers and having the, that wrong length field in your trace file. So these are just a couple of reasons uh, to think about or, or a couple of issues to think about when deciding to do packet slicing. I hope this helped and uh, see you next time. Thanks.